In this clip, I'm going to show you how to create or set up a capturing profile in the Imago portal uh, so that you can capture or take photos in CaptureX. So here I am in the Imago portal. You don't need to be an administrator or have a bin functionality to be able to do this. So just navigating uh, through to my settings and clicking on that profiles module in the admin portal. I've got a number of profiles already set up here for both CaptureX and Imago Mobile. I'm going to create uh, another one in here. Uh, let's call it Core Boxes because we've already got one called Core Trays. And they're just specifying what the profile type is, so either CaptureX or Imago Mobile. So in the profile, uh, obviously we'll put our type and our profile name displayed. You can pop a description for your profile in if you'd like. And underneath, we want to specify which workspace and data set, or workspaces, plural, and data sets, plural, uh, the photos that are captured using this capturing profile can be uploaded to in your Imago portal. So I'm adding them here to Basil and Cinnamon workspaces. Uh, we then need to specify or uh, set our imagery types, which I've set as core trays. These are based on definitions or based on uh, imagery types that were created in the definitions. I've now added in my capturing operations, wet and dry. These are the buttons that are going to appear in CaptureX. You can see you can reorder them. It makes sense to me to have the dry button there first. Uh, and you'll note that you can also, you know, there's no limit to the number of these. Uh, so if you want to add an UV, you can do that too. A word of warning, if you change your imagery type, you'll lose all of your capturing operations and need to add them in again. Moving from our general tab to our capture tab, so this is where we have a few capture settings that we can play around with. Things like auto increment, which can be really helpful if you're taking photos of chip trays, for example, uh, or you have uh, set uh, intervals. Uh, box numbering is a helpful one to know as well, so obviously allowing box numbers is great. You can also allow multiple box numbers per image if you're taking a photo of two core trays at once, for example. And the image cropping is important as well to have our cropped core box as well as our cropped rows for our linearized core. The quality control tab allows us to add validations in, so obviously you can choose which ones you'd like to apply. And then in the dry and wet operations, target sensor obviously corresponds to the target sensor that you'll tell CaptureX to look at. You can choose your file format, so the format your file will be uploaded to the Mongo portal from CaptureX. Uh, this quality one's set to 90 by default. You can ramp that up to 100, but what that's going to do is uh, mean it's going to mean the size of your image is, is huge or the size of your file is huge for not much better quality resolution. Uh, rotations can be applied as well once they hit the portal using the rotation drop-down button and the camera settings can be overridden for Canon cameras. Uh, just be careful if you're playing around with those. You wouldn't want to uh, mess around with all of these without telling the field uh, text or the cortex in the, in the core shed that you're changing them. Finally, user permissions. So this is where we specify which users can access this capturing profile. I've added my colleagues Joel and Joseph. I can also delete them by hitting the rubbish bin. Uh, that means they'll be able to see this capturing profile when they sign into CaptureX. And then just jumping into CaptureX to quickly show you how this looks and, and how to select that profile in CaptureX. So I'm just signing in here with my username and password. Once I've signed in, navigating to the settings in CaptureX, clicking on the profiles option, looking for that new profile from the portal that we just created. There it is, call boxes, and clicking on the activate button to activate it. If it doesn't show up straight away, you can use the refresh profile list button. And just to sync back to the portal, there's also the import from file option, which can be helpful if you can't get CaptureX into Wi-Fi or into internet to sync it with those changes that were made in the portal. And from there, we're ready to go. So choosing our workspace and data set, there's Basil and, and Cinnamon, the two projects we added previously in the portal. I'm going to go ahead and choose Cinnamon and create a new drill hole ID or a new collection name. And from there, we're ready to go. So we can see our collection ID. Our profile, that call box is one that we just set, and the workspace and data set these photos are going to be sent to. Uh, we can populate our intervals, our box numbers, and then we have our dry and our wet capture operations in that order from where we created them in the portal. And that's how you create a capturing profile for Imago Capture X in the Imago portal.